This is Kenneth Yates with MMAAbsolute.com and we're joined via Skype with Chad, Jorn, Chad J George from New Zealand where he was the main event in last night's New Zealand versus the United States. Chad, um, thanks for taking the time out to talk with us today. Talk a little bit about your fight and uh, how it went down. Uh, yeah, man, thanks for having me. Uh, it, was, it was good. It, it went the way we, um, we trained for and we, we walked away with the first round knockout against... Uh, New Zealand's top bantamweight, so I mean it couldn't uh, couldn't have gone better for us. We uh, we knew he was an aggressive, tough striker. Uh, his last three fights, I think he won uh, first round knockouts. And uh, I'm known for my 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 wrestling and my my ground, so uh, I thought it was a good opportunity for me to showcase that I'm well rounded. And um, and I think we did that exactly uh, last night, and we we put him to sleep, and it, it was it was good. Now, was that part of your game plan to, to look for the early knockout and uh, kind of stand and bang with him? Actually, the game plan was to uh, to take him down and just and uh, beat him up and finish him on the ground as fast as possible, uh, because we know that you know in New Zealand they they got good striking out here and uh, their ground is, is still a little um, behind. So we were going to come out, be really aggressive and uh, take him down. But uh, by I get the way he was kind of standing and the way he was uh, moving. I, I realized right off the bat that wasn't going to happen as easy as I thought. So um, I had to kind of collect myself and just uh, wait for him to charge me kind of the way that we uh, we had trained. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it worked out perfect. I stayed composed. I stayed uh, relaxed. And, um, you know, sometimes that's when the knockouts happen. It's when you when you least expect it. Uh, he rushed in. I threw, I threw a, an uppercut at the right time. And it, it just uh, it was lights out. Now, talk about your preparation for this fight and uh, your, your training leading up to it. Did you do anything different? Um, I didn't do anything so much different. Um, I, I guess the big thing that I, you can say I switched up a little bit from a lot of my uh, my camps in the past is I didn't bang as much. Um, normally, I'm used to doing hard sparring two, three, four times a week, and uh, my body is just completely thrashed come, come fight week. And uh, this time around, we changed it up, and I was only hard sparring once a week. Uh, and we would, you know, I would add in maybe a second time, and um, it's unbelievable the way my body felt, my mind felt just as good. It wasn't as uh, worn out, and I, so I think I found a new uh, a new way to implement my training into my camps going forward. And it's more uh, technical training and less less grinding. Um, you know, still doing the right, same amount of work, just now and now working more. No, I know it's a, a bit early to ask, but uh, is is there anything next? Is there anything coming up for you? Um, well, actually, we, we have a fight set up in um, in March. I'm dropping down to flyweight, oh. and so um, I'll be making my debut uh, in March um, as as a flyweight back in uh, back in the states. And um, you know, we're we're gonna make a uh, another run in the, uh, the to the UFC. Hopefully, when that division opens, and uh, go get that strap. Is it a little too early to, to say uh, what promotion that might be? No, actually, it'll be for Bama USA. Um, my fight just before um, this one here in New Zealand was for Bama USA, and uh, they're a great um, smaller organization back in L.A. Um, they're doing good things for, um, for the, uh, the, the sport and the way it's ran, and, uh, you know, it's a good promotion to be a part of, and uh, they're wanting to get me back into this show and kind of build me back up, and uh, it's, it's a, good, uh, it's a good, uh, good route to get back in. Well, Chad, thank you for your time. We appreciate you taking yeah. the time out to talk with us. Any shout-outs? Any last words? Um, yeah, you know, thank you guys for all the support. Um, you know, we've been blogging about our, uh, our trip here um, at pkgla.com. Uh, photos and kind of day-to-day uh, -day blogs we're going to put up, I think, day four and five here in the next uh, day or so and just keep doing that throughout the trip. And, uh, you know, thanks to all my uh, my fans, my family out there. Uh, we also um, have uh, my clothing company, soulexpressionattire.com. Uh, check it out. Some pretty uh, awesome, unique stuff. So, uh, yeah, other than that, thank you all for your love and support, and uh, we'll see you uh, again.